In this world, nightmares lurk. They hide in our neighborhoods, walk our streets, wear our faces. But they are not us. They are the world's best kept secret, and we are going to find them. Welcome to Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell. And welcome. This is a Chronicles of Darkness tabletop campaign played in the Hunter the Vigil storyteller system. I am Buckle. I am your storyteller. Our table is here. We're really excited because <laughs> today, uh, given the last episode's theme of language and, and listening back to some of our previous episodes, it occurred to me we are a pretty profane show. I, what? I, I think we are... We earn that explicit tag, we do. <laughs> we earn the That's explicit it. tag, and you know what? I'm ashamed of all of you. So uh, today, we have, really? a nice, we have a glass uh, mason jar in the middle of our table. Is that why? And every time the table jar? swears, uh, we're going to have to put some coins in. I feel targeted. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I live in another state. Attacked. How's that going to work? Uh, you'll just, uh, we'll invoice you. Aww. <laughs> yep, yeah. Uh, so, um, so Deanna, how about you introduce us to our options as far as swearing goes? What qualifies and what doesn't? Uh, well, my personal uh, my personal rule is that if your five year old repeats it at someone else and it embarrasses you, <laughs> Can I, so that, that's where we draw the line. That, that seems a little that, that seems a little subjective. And is it right if I if if I do cuss for the sake of clarification? Yeah, you just have to put it in the swear jar. No, no, no I mean without having to put anything in the swear jar. <laughs> okay, if it's your this character, the sake of if it's your character uh, talking, I suppose. You have to do and it. as far as body parts go, okay, if you're talking about your penis, it's not a swear. But if you call John a penis, it is a swear. What about if context is important? So, everyone. so, so you can, so you can't say what the hell, but you can. Sorry, sorry, Hold sorry. <laughs> okay, so you, so you can't say well, you can't say what the hell. But, but you can speak about the place hell. Like exactly, because you're referring episode. to a place. Okay. What is it? What about in terms of? Uh, and, and I assume that follows for you know donkeys and asses and whatnot. Oh, of course. Of yes. Course. Uh, r- quick question. Hi, uh, down uh, here. Yes. Yes, yes Stephen. Yes. Um, are we still going to be shooting things and stabbing them and having visceral scenes of violence and werewolf maulings? Sorry, we need to stop messing with it. Just leave it. You can take it off if you need to. <laughs> I'll take that out. <clears throat> yes, Stephen, we will still be having body horror, uh, visceral scenes of violence, uh, trips to otherworldly planes where horrible monsters will rip you limb from limb and rape you and do all kinds of horrible things. We're not we getting rid not, of that. We haven't done okay, that. Okay, I, I just want to be clear because... Oh, gosh, this, this, did I say that out loud? <laughs> we're not We're not talking about content. Stephen, uh. what you don't understand is this is still America. And no, no, no. See, I just wanted can, to be clear because we're playing a game. Off, but, but if you say oh, a single God. gosh darn swear word, then oof, R rating. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no. Okay, I just want to be clear because we're still playing in the Chronicles of Darkness, and I have a fat stack of books sitting next to me, and they will give you nightmares. And I just, I just wanted to make sure we weren't going to be like, yeah. uh, not. But how many that. swear words are in there? Of course, <laughs> we are still going to be the horrible, awful, grim, dark show that we've always been. We're just going cool. to be. Um, we're not going to be potty mouths about it. <laughs> we're having a, We're having some family friendly I wanna, content. Some family friendly eviscerations. <laughs> yes. So on that oh, note, gosh. <laughs> on that note, we will pick up our story in the tour bus coming home from the saloon. So in the back of the tour bus, sitting in the the, the two lines of beds, is Vic on his cell phone talking to his touchstone, Tori Thatcher. Uh, okay. Uh, he, he texted her at the end of the last episode and was uh, uh, was obviously distraught and just probably gave her a call as soon as as, uh, as soon as she responded that everything was open. So, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm ready. Just, just ring, ring. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey. 
It's me. Hey, Vic, what's what's happening? You, uh, you texted really late last night. Yeah, sorry. Um, uh, we we had a we had a rough day of filming, and uh, I, I, uh, I I feel like I messed up a lot. Uh huh. It's uh. I, I don't. I don't know. It's. 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 I'm under NDA for a lot of stuff, so I don't know what I can talk about. Uh, it's. Uh, uh, it just. Just things got. Things got crazy, and I'm worried that I. I. I fucked up. I mean, I'm sure it can't be that bad. I mean, it's. It's a TV show. They. They can cut around a few flubbed lines, or you know, if it took one too many takes. I mean, you're the host. It's not like they're gonna fire you. I. I don't know if it's that simple. I was. Uh, You remember? Do you remember what it was like to work in the industry as a kid? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, it's fun, but you know, you're also not really a kid, and you yeah. have to do a lot of adult stuff when you're not really ready. And then one day, you sort of just wake mm-hmm. up and you realize other other kids they didn't do that. I feel like I messed up in that way. We we had a we had a kid on set and I don't think I I don't think I did what I should have done knowing just kind of how that is. I know I, I know I'm not being specific. I'm not making sense. I'm, I'm sorry, Vic. I don't I don't think I understand. Was there not a studio teacher? I mean, I'm sure they're fine. So if, Everyone slipped up and said a curse word or something. I mean, it, it was it really that bad? You well, you didn't like hit him or something, did you? No, hell no. Yeah, see, I'm sure the kid's fine. <sighs> and at what point do you think uh, do you think Wolf would be coming in here? Um, I think right about here. Okay. All right. Uh, probably probably comes in around the hell no. Uh, now listen, Vic. I I I know you're really upset about this, but I. Uh, don't you think you're being a little dramatic? Well, uh, I, 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 you know what? I, I guess so. L- listen, I, I, I guess I'm just not in a good headspace. How about I, how, how about I talk to you later? Okay. I'll, I'm gonna be fine. All right. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to bother you so late. I'm sorry. Did I say something wrong? No, you didn't. Uh, sorry. Just uh, so, so someone walked in. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. And. Things up. So we've been monster hunters for about seventy-two hours now, I'd guess. But uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say probably not easy to talk about with people who don't know about hell. Call it a hunch. You you called it, and like I can't really, I I can't talk to somebody and just say hi. We went to hell. There was a kid there, and he's going to be trapped forever. And I feel like I messed that up. Wolf takes a deep breath, and you're sitting at the back table, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, he's just going to kind of wedge himself into the seat across from you. All right. The doctor's in. How much do you know about my career? Not that much. I know you did that show back in the, what, 90s? Yeah. Kit and Caboodle. Yeah. Kit and Caboodle. That thing. You did that, then you kind of fell off the face of the earth for a while, you did some anime or something, Radical Rex happened, and uh, now we're here, right? That's, yeah, that's, that's a good shorthand of it. And I don't know how much work you did in child psychology... But something something that I just can't get away from is the idea that kids are meant to have a job. Wow. I should give you my degree. <laughs> don't 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 patronize me. <laughs> I'm kidding with you, buddy. Okay. Look. Now, just for clarification's sake, do you want Wolf, your guess we're we're friends, right? Sure. All right. Do you want Wolf your buddy or a Wolf your therapist? Right now, Wolf the therapist. All right. I can do that. 
no, kids aren't supposed to have jobs. That is basic toxic parenting 101. You fuck up the family dynamic to the point where no one knows their role, everyone adopts what role they think they should have, and you grow up feeling just lost. That's pretty accurate. Well, I'll lend you a book. It's a free PDF. It's not, the, not a problem. That's that's But, fine. um, no, look, kids aren't supposed to have jobs, as you put it. Kids are supposed to be kids. They're supposed to feel safe, secure, and have the ability to screw up on occasion. And I've been an actor for, he checks his watch, a week and a half now, and I can already tell you, when you screw up on set, it's a big deal, as opposed to when you screw up in real life, where you might get grounded. Uh... Where, where I think I really messed up here is that I messed up the kid. Or whatever it was that we left there and wherever that was. Uh, you can see Wolf, uh, his knuckles are going a little wide and uh, he kind of wipes his nose a little, takes a deep breath. You didn't fail the kid. I... I'm I'm sorry, but I told him, but I handed him a little flute and told him to just play. It was it, 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 I I didn't have any idea what else to do. I can't think of a Be way that could have gone worse. Because there wasn't anything else to do. Well, Vic, I screwed up, and I'm not uh, sorry. I'm breaking rule right now. I screwed up, man. You basically gave that kid a way to actually survive the environment he's in. I... This isn't about me. Look, just... Okay. So, why do you feel like t giving him that piccolo? I don't know what the hell that was. I I made a D in band when I took it. Um, Why do you feel like that was messing up? I saw a lot of myself in it, and I felt like I was just giving him a simple answer because we had we had to leave to take care of ourselves, and I felt like I felt like I was kind of just putting him in a corner because it was convenient. Well, there's one. Th I, I want you to repeat that again. I felt like I was. And I'll tell you when to stop. That whole thing. I want you to repeat that whole thing. I'll tell you where to stop. I I felt like I was putting him in a corner because it was convenient. No, no, the whole thing before that. Shit. Um. <laughs> uh, okay, all right, I'll go ahead, play easy mode with you. Usually, I what I'm supposed to do is kind of lead, lead bread trails for you to kind of find your way to the oh shit, I hate my mom moment, as I call it. <laughs> but uh, what I'm going to give you instead is... We had to save ourselves. It wasn't an act of cruelty. It was an act of self-preservation. And that doesn't make you a bad person. It means we were in over our head in an environment that we should not have been in, that we were unprepared for, and we made a choice. You, you made a choice to save yourself. You put your, you put your, uh, you know, air mask on first before assisting anyone else. And you didn't give him that flute as a fuck you kid, get out of my hair, you're annoying me. You gave him that because in this environment we were in, in this fucked up situation, what the fuck else could you have done? Are you telling me that as a therapist or do you, are you telling me because you actually believe it? What do you think? That's why I'm asking. I'm telling you that as a therapist. What else could you have done? Because we're already kind of throwing ourselves into the deep end of some supernatural bullshit. And you had to save yourself. And you didn't... What you did was give that kid a way to survive an environment. You didn't give that kid a noose. You gave him a flute. 
I just don't, I still don't feel right about it. Well, I think that means you're a decent person. Can you go somewhere else for a little while? I want to cry. Yeah, Wolf gets up and he just kind of heads to the front of the bus. Uh, are we moving right now? Yeah, we're moving. JD's riding. All right, cool. And okay, scene. then I go to my, uh, I go to my little, you know, bunk with uh, the werewolf PA above me. I kind of, Wolf closes the curtains and he just kind of stares at the ceiling. Wow, guys, that was great. Thank you. So, um, right, we'll move in to, you all go home, I assume JD is driving, yeah. and uh, you land in your, wherever you're parked, wherever you're staying. We'll, we'll call it like an RV park or something. We're going we're gonna to slowly teach uh, old Will how to drive. <laughs> Young, Young Will. Young William. Fair William. Little Young. Will. Little Will. Young, virile <laughs> Williams. Handsome, attractive, powerful <laughs> William. Sexy, adult male werewolf William. <laughs> I mean, he's not quite there yet, but he can help. He's gonna, is sexy, sweet. He's going to learn how to drive. You leave my son so out of this. <laughs> he's our son. You know, we is sexy a swear word? No. 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 What? No. Well, Gary, I, would be pretty I wanted em- to ask the table. If I may posit this, I would be pretty embarrassed by a five-year-old knowing the word sexy yeah, and then using it in front of other people. Per my rule, if a five-year-old called something sexy... Gosh, your rule. Okay, so, Deanna, you... Words can express how much I fucking Gary hate this. Too, for that, that, that lovely oh, discussion. Oh, Steven, you owe us a, 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 a coin. Yeah, I'll mark down Steven's tab here. <laughs> I hate this. You'll be, I hate this. <laughs> You'll be getting a bill in the mail soon. <laughs> oh my god. I hate this. <laughs> One more. Add it, add it, add it. Add it. I didn't say a curse word. I just said I hate Lord's this. Lord's name in vain, bitch. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> I quit. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. I quit. Yep. 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 So, Mason, you um, recall a conversation with your father about a potential lead that perhaps you'd like to look into while you are here. Uh, are we going to bed right now? Well, it was an overnight shoot, so sure. you all can grab a few hours of sleep if you'd like, but it is daylight outside, oh. and you do have two free days here before you'll move on to Chicago. Okay. Or I should say, you have a total of three free days split between here and Chicago, with roughly one day's travel time. And you can spend those in whatever area you decide. Well, I think we should probably get a couple hours of sleep in. Yeah, I'm get a couple hours of sleep and then hang out in St. Louis for a bit. And yeah. That sounds fun. Mm-hmm. And then we can go drive tomorrow and then... Uh, I'd like to um, peruse the internet for a local of St. Louis by the name of Miss Ali- Amelia Lancaster. All right, uh, roll me a um, investigation computers, whichever one is better, which is hilarious because investigation will always be better <laughs> with like 90% of character sheets. <laughs> yes, slightly. It's just the generally more versatile skill to dump your points it's, in. It's very useful. <laughs> Unless you want to be a hacker, most players will get further with investigation. <laughs> Three. Three. Well, with three, you do find a Amelia Lancaster living in St. Louis. Sure. There's actually three hits, but you narrow it down because only one of them has a, a past residence listed in Kansas City, which yeah. you know she did. Yeah. But there's no picture, it's a private account, and you can't get anything personal. Okay. Um, you could make me an additional check maybe to follow that and search again using what you now know, the, the base information you're getting from her profile, like her age, what part of town she's coming from. I want to just fucking creep all over this lady's... Yeah, basically your Facebook Uh-oh. stalking. Yeah, I'm, I'm... Creep? No, he said... Fucking. <laughs> I hate this. This is going to be so lucrative because you all have to go once for the swear and again to explain the swear. <laughs> Another three. <laughs> Can't we just set up a Patreon instead? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is fine. Yeah. Microtransactions. I, I need 
We need a viewer to match us one for one on these these donations. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're going to name our uh, production company EA. Oh. <laughs> They're going to nickel and dime. Hot, hot take on the video games industry. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, fuck. The, oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh you're, you're falling down. Stop. You're, fall, you're falling down Stop. the gulf. You're falling down the gosh and hole right now. <laughs> gosh. Gosh, I'm sorry. I'm calling our producer. I'm going home. <laughs> Steven, you are you our are producer. Home. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm you producer. How are you doing that? I'm like a swearaholic. I, I was my, my parents' swearing buddy as a child. I can't do this. Why did I make this game? Swearing um, buddy? So, um, right. So you do your investigation check, and following that information, you find a local occult shop in downtown St. Louis. It does not list her specifically, but she did like the page, and you can see on the page that she's made several posts. There's probably some kind of relationship there. Okay. I need sleep now. We have been up very, very, very many hours without it. Yes, you have. <laughs> so, um, anyone have a particular amount, or are you just going to sleep until you're rested? Uh, Vic is definitely going to be sleeping until rested. Yeah. Uh, Wolf's not sleeping. Oh, interesting. Ooh. Wolf is currently on his cell phone uh, looking through the dating app Growler. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh my. Let me roll okay, you some high lows. Explain to us what the difference between Growler versus Grinder. For oh, I think it's kind of self-explanatory. It's your, your daddy dice. Oh, Where is it? Go? Oh, it's because it's for bears. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. No. Uh, Wolf is... So Wolf's vice is... Gluttony. Uh And that can manifest in many ways. But right now, he just had his first major loss. And as a hunter, even though he doesn't really consider himself that, he's going to find a guy to just... He needs some physical comfort right now. He needs to just... He needs to gosh. He needs to gosh. (laughs) You, yeah. you, could, you could say he's down to gosh. He's down to gosh. He, 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 needs, he, needs to, he needs to suck a gosh. I mean, he he needs, sure you he can find a bear a that'll, and penis. That'll, that'll, take, that'll take you and you'll gosh Loophole. in his gosh and then he'll gosh on you and... And they'll just be gosh everywhere, uh, and then when you're done, you can go, you, you can know. I was trying, trying to have like gosh, a moment, <laughs> but you know, this is fine. This is fine. He's gonna, gosh he's, everywhere. He's gonna be getting out, and he's gonna be like, gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm gonna gosh. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I'm, I'm, ge- I'm just going to walk away now. I'm done. <laughs> so, Steven, please. Be, uh, and I walk away. No. You, just, you know, it's, it's just you picked the best episode to try and do this one. Um, so, so what qualities? Describe for me your ideal grinder date. Or not grinder, growler. 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 Your ideal Excuse growler you? date. What is even a grinder? It sounds painful. Okay. Wolf is just looking for someone who's, like, in his age range, you know... Late twenties, mid thirties, forties, whatever, uh, with a pulse, who's nearby. Okay. He just needs some physical comfort right now, and this is what he's hunting for. (laughs) Okay, so I'm gonna describe to you three (laughs) phases. You tell me if you swipe swipe left or right. Okay. (laughs) That's not how this app works. Uh, Okay. So how does this app work? (laughs) Basically, you have a but. It's like a menu. I heard it was like Pokemon Go. (laughs) <laughs> okay. It's like Pokemon Go in a menu. Okay. <laughs> okay, so then you see you see a nine, a five, and a four. I right, go for the nine. Uh, you open it, and uh, he's really cute. He's tall. He's muscular. He's wearing lacy underwear. I can work with it. I don't care. Right <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, he he is in the suburbs of St. Louis. And uh, you ascertain that you can get there either by public transportation or by taking one of the production vehicles. This does matter. What suburb? Uh, name one. I don't know. I haven't been to Los Angeles. Uh, okay, Los Angeles to either while. either pick East St. Louis or St. Charles. St. Charles. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be. He's he's wealthy. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, you, but I don't think everyone's under. But I, I, this is not a moment of him just trying to have some fun. This is like I need this 
on I an get emotional it. level for him. But I'm also so, trying to have fun here. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> and I think you gosh are. <laughs> I think right. you goshing are. I gosh so, gosh and am. Yes. So he still picked the nine. <laughs> he's going for the nine. No, he wouldn't. I rolled a nine. I pick him. So anyway, you you roll up and uh, I'm gonna. How he's do you gonna take do public this, transportation. Steven? He doesn't want people to know he's the. Here's what's gonna happen. He's just gonna. He's gonna take public transportation. He doesn't want anyone to know he's doing this. Just gonna. It's a basically an anonymous hookup. Okay. Hey Wolf, where are you going? <laughs> Out. Oh, okay. Have 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 some fun, some goshing fun. <laughs> Nobody wants his phone number when he's leaving. Let's see how it is. We're just trying to keep yeah. track of Mason. <laughs> so yeah, that's what Wolf's gonna do this morning. Well, okay. we are actively being hunted by vampires right now. Yeah, probably. Probably. All right, so you can take vampires? a point of willpower back yeah, for thanks. indulging your vice. Thank you. And um, you, you can also have my eternal gratitude for taking that with a straight face and not <laughs> not not feeling bad about us completely ripping you <laughs> for playing your character. <laughs> so uh, everyone wakes up after about six to eight hours, uh, which makes it the uh, late afternoon. What do you all want to do? I'm well, heading back to the hotel at this point. <clears throat> Our RV. Yeah, I think you're living out yeah. of the... We're living out of the bus. So yeah, you're coming back to the bus. What was that? Is Wolf missing? Hey, where's Wolf? I don't know. I saw. I, I just saw him leave earlier. Well, that's weird. What do you mean earlier? Like Just like the morning. I don't know. I was tired. Okay. Did you say where he was going? No. Hey, how about you text him? Yeah, we should probably find out where he's at. Okay, uh, Vic pulls out his phone and uh, any any text wolf saying, "Hey, did you get eaten?" Send. Uh, Wolf's on the bus. He he took public transportation, so he's on the bus back to uh, where the hotel and the bus is parked, and he just responds with, uh, "Yeah, jump by vampires. I'm now part of the undead horde." And a vampire emoji. And uh, and and Vic messages back, okay, I love you. See you soon. <laughs> Send. <laughs> so. And then, it, then he adds, then he then he sends like like three, three werewolf emojis. It's like Twilight, <laughs> but text. <laughs> so he's all right. Yeah, either that or he's being entirely honest, and we're all about to die. Oh, he's probably fine. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Hey, you know what we should go do? What? We should go get drunk somewhere. We should totally go get drunk somewhere. Sounds amazing, right? It's, it is the afternoon. Uh, we went to hell yesterday, so... Yeah. yeah sounds like a good time to yeah. go get drunk somewhere. And, yeah. I mean, I could use some liquor that's not made out of peas, so... <laughs> I think what? we all could. <laughs> Don't you In remember? the saloon. In the saloon. You don't Our remember the piss key? <laughs> It wasn't made of pee. It, just... it was. It was made of that's, menstrual that's urine. Not, I don't think. No, no that's not a. <laughs> Pisky. No, yeah, you what know, is you wrong know, with you guys it. today? <laughs> <laughs> It's good. You gotta stop saying pisky. How could you not remember the pisky? <laughs> Garrett got a sunburn and everything just went to hell. I don't know what's going on oh, anymore. No. I have a quarter. Mark one down. Hey, hey, hey. All right, hey, that's another on. one on the tab. That's, he's talking about the place hell. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll uh, take that one. Yeah, sorry, yeah, I'm gonna take it back. All right, take that off when it's tabbed. I hate this. <laughs> all right. So you all head to the bar. Well, we have uh, to get. We have to have a oh. dress. Everyone oh. but Mason heads to the bar. Uh, I have something to do in town. If you could all let me know where you're going, I'll try and meet with up with you after. Sure. Uh, okay. What's the What's the name of the bar that we found? Buckle. You're not oh, gonna gosh. go do weird stuff at grave sites again, are you? Not at grave sites. Are you gonna get, go the, get eaten okay. by vampires? And the bar that you find. Uh, uh, no. Well, weird stuff starts happening. Call us. I'm just just. Call us. I'm going to an occult shop, so... Oh, that's pretty normal. I'll call you when I get there. <laughs> that seems pretty tame. Yeah, okay. So what's the name of this place? <laughs> Let us know if something the, tries to eat you. The bar you find is uh, uh, Jimmy Lee's Spittoon Bar and Grill. <laughs> a bar yes. and Jimmy grill. Lee's bar. Spittoon. Yeah, it's a, it's a faux western bar. But it apparently enough. serves really good margaritas. We gotta go here, boys. 
It's my people. We got to go. <laughs> You're, fr- you're I thought southern, you were the- not western. Yeah, I thought you were people who drink Georgia. margaritas are your people. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> they got good margaritas. I don't give a shit. As long as they've oh, got I'm an sorry. accent and booze. <laughs> the most important thing is that it's walking distance. There so is can that. We have a, can we have a, very key for us. At this can we time. have a getting ready montage set to 80s music, please? Ooh, I do get to use oh, my Both our house wardrobe. and primary form of transportation is not a good thing to uh, yes, you may. operate while uh, <laughs> intoxicated. Uh, okay, cool. Vic is going to wear... They, the only thing notable that Vic is going to wear differently is he has a, a button-up shirt and the collar's a little flared. <laughs> Ooh, look at you. We're going I'm thinking, out. I'm thinking Darla's probably going to wear cut-off denims with, like, rhinestone crosses on the ass. <laughs> My God. <laughs> hey, hey, there you go. <laughs> We're locked in. <laughs> Lord's name in vain, bitch. <laughs> No, it fell back that. out. It was uh, divine intervention. I, how's how's Wolf dressing up? Um, I know Wolf and oh, I was next. about to ask Buckle if I was if I uh, arrived yet or not. Yeah, yeah. You you come in right about the time Darla does a spin in her cut off uh, shorts. Oh, I also uh, I also want Fig to have a big fuck off belt buckle. Uh, <laughs> Excuse you. Uh, so, Wolf just. He goes up to his room, and he comes down, and it's the first time you've ever seen Wolf actually, like, comb his hair properly, and shave a little, and wear a shirt that's not a loud print Hawaiian thing. And he's actually pretty decent looking. This is Jimmy Spittoon, whatever. (laughs) Bar and grill. Calm down! But Wolf looks so good! Calm down! Calm down. What, what's, what's, you know, what's JD, down, JD, just because you're jealous. JD is wearing some shorts and a t shirt. <laughs> We're trying Look, to have fun. This is not a fancy place. JD, it's a bar and a grill with an E at the end. <laughs> it's got, it does have that an E at the it's end. Fancy. This has a sp- this is the, the word spittoon in it. That's well, why. I don't mean nothing. That just gives it flavor. Like a JD, spittoon. JD, JD, my beautiful little twink friend. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, you just have to make uh, yourself look pretty. Pat, pat. Also, you are a twig. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what? I... Best of luck, everybody. Camera pans out as Jimmy goes, What's a twig? <laughs> What's a twig? <laughs> Don't Google it. Let's go. No, Oh, do I Google was supposed it. to Google something I forgot. Oh, Damn I it. That's not canon now. <laughs> it is now. It is now. <laughs> Too late. So you all uh, walk away. And uh, Mason, are you gonna head off? Yeah, uh, to the. Equipment. I know where they're going. Okay. Cool. Okay. Good deal. <sighs> okay, so the party leaves, and Mason, you head for the occult shop. All right. Well, uh, I suppose uh, I'll swing on up. Uh, does it look particularly busy right now. Anybody there? It's dead outside. You. But it is open. It is open. You walk up, and it is a small, old-style um, sort of cottage home nestled between much taller, more industrial buildings. Literally right next door, it's like crammed between these sort of large brick and, and concrete Art Deco uh, skyscrapers and a, a sleek steel and glass building. It's a little house, uh, faint green with white... Uh, gingerbread style uh, latticed railings and window decorations and a balcony above a porch with a, an old wood door and a single pane grid of windows and on it is a little wooden sign on a string that flips and it says open. Okay. Um, if I recall correctly, my father did tell me that Amelia Lancaster was a changeling and I have no idea what that is. Uh, I'd like to unseen sense when I approached the door and I got two successes. Um, it, the feeling is very reminiscent, though not the same, as the creature you encountered in the woods in Kansas City. I might s- s- hesitate a bit to open the door and then turn the knob and step inside. All right, so as you step inside, you see what is clearly a residential home that's been converted into a occult shop. Sure. So directly ahead of you is a narrow wood staircase. Stair- Stero. There's a narrow wood staircase leading up to an upstairs, and then on either side are uh, large 
rooms, which at one point may have been a dining room or a living room. And lining the walls are rickety old brown wood bookshelves, uh, heavy with books and uh, memorabilia, things such as consumer toys and other stuff such as, uh, you know, animal skeletons and dream catchers and crystals on little marble bases lit with lights in the middle. It's a little kind of shop of sundries and oddities. Sure. And on the left side, towards the back of a large room, is a uh, sort of display case with a cash register on top and a, uh, a young woman reading from a book and leaning against the counter. She's uh, a tall, thin woman with long blonde hair and a handkerchief wrapped around her forehead in sort of a hippie style, uh, a loose, lacy white top, and a patterned cotton sort of a paisley skirt, a big mm-hmm. loose skirt. She knows when I enter? I don't know. She gives you a bored look over her book and then glances back down and flips to the next page in Unlocking Your Inner Goddess. Ah. Well, uh, leave her to the reading for now. Is there, uh, perhaps walk about the store, uh, have a look around, see if there's any other people. Sure. So, um, would you like to go in her room or in another one? Uh, uh, I might kind of get a feel for the place first and then... All right, so walking into the right side, you see it's mostly books. Yeah. The, uh, the room is completely covered in books of all categories and a very loose organization system. Cool. And along the wall are posters for indie rock bands and uh, sort of old Victorian-style medical instruments and, and ske- drawings of skeletons and that kind of gothy gotcha. shit. Fuck, sorry. <laughs> That's two. That's two. <laughs> Well, I came to St. Louis to learn, so I'd actually like to try and see if there's any books that seem more more legitimate, if that makes any sense. I, sure. I don't know what I'm looking for, but uh, if it could look less hokey, that'd be nice. All right, yeah, roll me an investigate check. Can I please burn a willpower for this? Yeah, of course you can. You can right. always burn a willpower. This is a I love for you guys to use your willpower and end up beaten and demoralized. Oh, well, that's not <laughs> happening this time. Okay, that's three tens. Some people don't need willpower to ride the bull. That's, that's true. I need, I need, I need some juice to ride the bull. Okay. No more bulls, please. We're at six successes. Six successes. Goodness. Okay. <clears throat> so you are looking around, and it is mostly cheesy tourist stuff, yeah. with a few like you know. The Beginner's Guide to Wicca and <laughs> Reading Your Stones. But in between all of that, you do find a old leather-bound book. And it has no title. It has a burgundy cover with a hammered leather design in the front in the shape of a uh, cow skull with deer antlers coming off the sides and hammered in and very dainty and gold-leafed detail. You see trains of beads and jewels hanging from the the antlers in a very attractive sort of covered design. And when you open it, you see a bunch of uh, old typewriter-style notes, which are in a code. And you do not know what the code means, but it is obvious to you that this is something legitimate. Okay. Well, uh, have a look around. Is there a price? Yeah, there's a an orange dot sticker on the back. It's pretty hefty, but you can afford it. Okay. Uh, well, sure I can, but... Uh, right, you go for it. <laughs> I'd like to save that for other things right now. If it's really, really nasty, let's have a look. All right, so I would like to take that over to the checkout counter. If, is she, the woman still there? She's there. She eyes you, and when she sees that you are coming towards her direction, she turns her book and sets it open face on the counter and uh, says, A cold shop, how can I help you? Uh, A few things, if I could. Firstly, uh, I'd like to make a purchase. Okay. She takes it from you, looks at it up and down in a very careless way. Read on her at all. She seems like a very tired, very bored young okay. woman this this book doesn't isn't remarkable to her at all it's just a book all right she said okay that'll be 65 dollars please all right so 
quite bad. Can I help you with anything else, sir? Actually, uh, I was looking for somebody I had heard might frequent the shop. If you could uh, perhaps put me in touch. Uh, uh-huh. Have you uh, have you run into a Miss Amelia Lancaster? So as you're you're studying her reaction, you see a instinctual stillness to her face, immediately covered by a bland expression. Uh, who's asking? Uh, that would be uh, Mason Harper. And you see her eyes widen very slightly as she hears your name. And then she uh, puts, takes your, your book, puts it in a plastic bag, ties the knot, hands it to you very briskly, and says, uh, well, that's, there's your book. Uh, it's probably time for you to go. My apologies, miss. Have I offended in some way? Take the book gingerly, but not leave. I think it's time for you to go. My apologies. I didn't intend to cause any problems. Uh, do you know where I might meet a Miss Lancaster? I, I had some questions. Are you going to go running around town asking more about this? Uh, honestly, yes. It's rather important that I meet Miss Lancaster. Then I... I'm, I'm Miss Lancaster. What do you want with me? Uh, just some questions. I, I'm not sure what I've done to merit the concern, but I assure you, I mean you know it will. Yeah, they never do, do they? The humans. Uh, I wouldn't agree with that, but... I'm... Listen, if you're here to pull me back into your family's weird dungeon thing, I I really, I've learned all I care to learn, and I don't dungeon? want, I came here to get away from this, so if you could, what do you want? Real quick. Mm-hmm. We have a dungeon? Do I know we have a dungeon? No. I don't know we have a dungeon. <laughs> okay. Um, uh. I'm, I'm kind of shocked. Uh, rich people don't have dungeons. That's not the they thing. all have dungeons. It's actually Thaddeus' dungeon. Oh, God, maybe. Um, uh, Thaddeus is just secretly a different kind of butler. <laughs> I didn't want to do this, sir, but... <laughs> You've been very naughty. Been very naughty. You <laughs> used the salad spoon when you were meant to use the steak knife. Oh, I'm true. sorry, you must learn your manners, young master. <laughs> Just the clinking of China. Oh, no. Do you know about it? It's just refreshed. <laughs> <laughs> roll a result composure roll. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. Time to polish the silverware, young master. No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I, I, I need the swear jar. <laughs> Somebody, yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, wow, that's getting really full. It is. It's three whole dollars. <laughs> um, look, I... There's a sickness of sorts with my family. I I don't know what happened, but I'm trying to set things right. We, we've lost our humanity in a sorts, and I want to set things right. And a starting place is getting ready, rid of this thing that's in our woods. So it's you don't get it. He didn't get it either. Your dad didn't get it either. And I, How many times do I have to tell you, you don't make these things go away, all right? They're not the intruders here. This was their world first. We are the ones that are walking in and doing stupid stuff, and you don't just, it's not like a pest, all right? I told him so many times, and he never listened. It's There's no fey repellent. There's no... A uh, little spritzy bottle that you just walk around and they just all go away. It's wow. not like that. You have to leave them. And then you have to really hope that they don't come find you. Well, then, forgive me, but I'm not going to be satisfied with that. I need to, 
I need to at least try. And I'm not going to bother you for services. You already are. I want to bother you for information. Could I... All right, then. How did you find out about me? My father... Oh, this ought to be good. I told him about the thing that lives in our woods. I found it. It tried to kill kill us. He already knew. He Don't did. know if Popsicle told you that. No. He told me he worked with you, but I don't think he worked with you. You're kind of cute. You just really believe whatever people tell you, don't you? I prefer not to. That's why I'm here talking to you. Hmm. Go on a date with me. Excuse me? So, you all arrive. It is a, a short and uh, actually kind of fun walk. The uh, park that you are uh, staying in is right along the St. Louis River, so you get this really neat view of, you know, industrial bridges and birds flying across the sort of very large open blue sky. And uh, kind of, if that's your thing, sort of beautiful uh, graffiti, you know, artworks painted on the public property and it's kind of scenic in its, in, a, in its own way. And you come upon a, what looks like a sort of faux western little dive bar with a uh, sort of wood railing around the edges and a bunch of cars out front. There's neon everywhere and country music blaring from it. And it's, it's pretty full. It's, it's a, a, a den of activity, despite it being early in the afternoon. And you surmise the reason when you walk inside you get the typical sort of red neon lights and billiard tables with sort of roughnecks and, and biker girls walking around with trays. Is, and you see a very large sign that says happy hour. Is there a mechanical um, bull? There is a mechanical bull. Oh, my Lord. Okay, this could be fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we have, okay, let's take advantage of the drink specials and then we can yes. ride the bull. Yes. Well, you have to have drinks before you ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta get that. That's liquid, required. That liquid courage. Yes, you're working out the game as you're walking up to the stadium. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> like, all right. That's uh, required. Let's all let's all go up to the bar, get a round of shots, and then we can get this night going. Yeah, let's do it. Two two rounds of shots, and then the bull. And then the bull. Yeah. So you walk up to the bar, and you see two gentlemen surrounded by a crowd of sort of uh, friends and strangers cheering them on. They're in the midst of a drinking contest, knocking back shot glasses and, you know, uh, sending barbs back and forth. And as you sort of walk up, uh, they both uh, sort of turn to your group and they're like, Jimmy boy, I tell you, I, I, I tell you. And then the one gentleman passes out <laughs> and the other gentleman goes, ha, ha. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm the winner. I'll take on any one of y'all. <laughs> oh, oh my lord, are we doing a drinking contest? Who we, my lady? Yes, we are. Can I join you? Uh, if you, you think you cannot drink with sugar, of course you can. Uh, you know, I have a suspicion. <laughs> this is going to be a good night. <laughs> so, Darla takes a seat on the bar stool. Actually, she carefully takes the man and sets him on the ground. And then she <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the man has a, a large black wallet in his back pocket. I take it out. Uh, are you, okay, are you going to sort of slide of hand it? Oh, or? yeah, yeah, well, let's see. Yoink. <laughs> she says yoink. You, you are surrounded by a crowd. <laughs> That's fair. But, but she is Darla, so I wanted to highlight the opportunity here. Uh, of course. Let's see. What do is, I is, have? is Darla known for taking wallets off the unconscious? <laughs> Why not? Uh, in her own life, not by you yet. <laughs> we're going to learn something about you today, Darla. If we can see I it. okay? Can I use uh, sort of a presence and maybe socialization to pull out his wallet and be like, "This this rounds on him." You know, I'll allow it. <laughs> that actually, that yes, you've justified it. Congratulations, you got away with another classic Deanna roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least that one is the reason. Yeah, the, the reason. Not trying to punch people with larceny. The reason was reasonable. <laughs> it was throw a rock with larceny. It was throw a rock with larceny. Oh, that was three. Because she stole it first. <laughs> that would be three successes, Buckle. Three successes? All right. Uh, the crowd sort of all cheer, and, and uh, the bartender gives you a, a knowing look, but he accepts the credit card and buys a round of drinks. I give him the flirty smile and a, and a, like a blown kiss. He, 
in a really sickening gesture, uh, he sort of gives you a, a flirtatious smile and catches your, your blown kiss and tucks it in his pocket. Jack hides her revulsion. And you want to get drunk is actually just going to be like, oh, oh, lost my appetite. And then after, after he does that, he kind of pauses, and then he looks at Darla and he's like, sorry, that was weird. It's okay, it happens to the best of us. Now give me some tequila. Sorry, that yes. was weird. <laughs> yes, ma'am, he says. It's very, and you know the type. He, you can tell he's a bit taken with your figure. And oh, yeah. You don't blame him. No. I'm this happens to you all the time. Eat him. So he buys you all a round of drinks. So how this game is played. Uh, everyone who wants to join the drink game. You get around every Everybody. round. Uh, get in there. Come on. Get in. This is the spirit of Mason. It's, from it's the, not the, Mason and Wolfson. I, I want, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, JD. <laughs> okay, so JD, uh, Wolf kind of looks at, Wolf kind of glances at JD and is like, you, you really want to go with me, dude? You really Come want to do this? Come on, buddy, don't let me do this alone. Oh, gosh. All right. We're drinking. All right. Fine. I We're will, drinking. I will play We've this been like to hell and back. We're drinking. I will play this like Vic, just going to say. <laughs> all right, all right. So Let's every round, it. you all will roll a D10 flat. Uh, just real quick. Oh, wait. I've got a... I, I do have Western-style dice. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, just, well, real, just real quick. What are we drinking? Tequila. Tequila? The do 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 All right. Tequila. <laughs> Tequila. So every round, when I call, you all roll a, D, a flat D10. If it's success, you're fine. If it's a failure, you okay. go one round up in the drinking scale. So you'll start tipsy, uh, and then you'll get uh, drunk, mm. and then you'll get... Blasted, and then you'll get floor. There's four levels. <laughs> Once you get to three, you're out of the game. If you continue just, drinking, you can pass out. One, and it's just one die? Yeah, it's one d10. It's one d10 every round. And every activity you take after you are you exit the drinking game, for every level you go up, you'll lose a die off of any dice pools. Okay. That's how we're going to do it. So. I knew I should have eaten before going out. Everyone make your rolls. It's your first round. All right. Oh. 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 No. That is a failure. Fail. Success. Success. Oh. oh. One. JD, did you crit Nine. fail? No. Oh, one. you succeed. Okay. That's so it looks like Darla, two. you're tipsy, and uh, Vic, you're tipsy. Yes. Our, does our does our resolve or anything factor into this? Nope. It's just straight. It's just straight luck. Okay. It's how it hits you. Wolf uh, elbows JD. I'm impressed. I go. love this bar. We got a long way to go. <laughs> and grill. <laughs> and grill. Uh, laughing, uh, the bartender walks with up with tequila, you. lines up your shot glasses, and pours another round. Give me some rolls. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> v- Vic manages to gird himself this time. <laughs> he girds his loins. He, he just not necessarily his loins, just himself. <laughs> yes, Darla. I won't tell you. I'm, I won't tell you what he's gonna gird. <laughs> He's just gonna gird his whole body. <laughs> oh, that God. is that is the crit fail. <laughs> oh, did take a crit fail that time. Crit fail. All right. So JD goes up two levels to drunk, <laughs> and Darla is now at drunk. I'm at drunk as well. What about That's you, Wolf? I did. I'm at tipsy. You're at tipsy. That okay. second one. That so second one had something in it. So the whole table's at least at tipsy. <laughs> I'm looking funny at the bartender. <laughs> How's there was something weird in that one? How's the other guy looking? The other guy. You know, that's a good question. The nice. other guy is floored. <laughs> Wait, like, that, like, oh, so now it's just floor? between us. So now it's just between you all. So Hi, boys. All of us, all of us, just look over. It's like, how's the other guy? And he's just all. <laughs> 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 he's like, to be fair, he started to disadvantage. All right. <laughs> all right, boys. All right, let's do this. I don't feel good already. <laughs> you should have eaten more of the quinoa. <laughs> I told you that quinoa salad was bad. But it's so tolerable. Oh, don't worry about stretch. <laughs> stretch? <laughs> yeah, JD stretch now. Oh. Oh, no. Is that your tweet <laughs> name? <laughs> I don't know what any of these things are. <laughs> and Wolf pounds a shot. That's All right, it. here we go. Down. I got Dang it. Dang it. So close. I'm up to drunk. I am not. Darla manages to stabilize. Wait, wait, if I can get a second success. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, you know, I like that. So if you, if you roll a 10 and you re-roll and it succeeds, then you go down one level, you sober up. Oh. That's, I would love to. Right, I did. I got a success, so I'm still at tipsy. Okay. I, I, would, I would like to have some of that sober in tequila. <laughs> Let's have a roundup. All right, what level are you all at? Vic? Uh, Vic is currently at drunk. 
Drunk. I think I'm also drunk. And Tipsy. Yeah. Tipsy. Okay, so give me one more round. The bartender fills you all up. Yeah. Garrett, the brand name of that tequila is Positive uh, oh. Parental Test. Positive Parental <laughs> Test? <laughs> brand Tequila. It's brand Tequila. <laughs> so uh, that would be a success. Oh, Wolf? Uh, we are looking at a success. Oh, still tipsy. Success. Wolf can really hold his liquor. <laughs> Vic? Uh, oh, didn't, oh, wait, I succeeded. Oh. oh. I got it. Everyone got I am this fine. Round. So, a full round of successes. Tequila. So nothing was accomplished. Tequila. And as you do, you drink that round, some mariachi music comes on in the background, and they're playing our song. So uh, he refills your drinks. You go for another round. Here we go. All right, let's here we go. go. Let's go. Uh, oh nope. Oh, Vic, no. <laughs> Vic uh, Darla, are you sure you want to? Now we're keep good. Going? Uh, it's, okay. At this at this point, Vic is just like he he has his hand his forehead in his hand and he's just like, I just don't know why I did this. Uh, it's I okay, Vic. Well, if I can't feel my face, <laughs> it's still there. That's it's good, but I just, I, I want to feel it. How am I going to walk home? <laughs> I live Ow. in California. <laughs> you're not, you're not going, you're not going back to California, man. It, Vic, it's called Uber, and you, you call it with your phone. I love yeah. Uber. And we can and walk that, to the bus. And that person will take you home so you don't even have to use your legs. I love you guys. So, Wolf is officially drunk. He failed that role. Oh, but he's still probably the most sober one guys, here. Guys, 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 guys. We gotta, we gotta ride the bull. We gotta. <laughs> we gotta ride. We gotta the the ball. ride the bull, guys, guys. We gotta, we gotta ride. I don't, I, I don't, I really think that's bull? a bad idea. We're gonna ride the bull. There's a bull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. JD, JD. We're gonna go ride the bull. We're gonna 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 ride the bull. <laughs> and so Darla takes JD by the arm and. Walks. <laughs> walks. Walks. <laughs> walks. Over to the bull. The, the, the very bored patrons around ride you. Ride the caution bull. You're going to ride the bull. <laughs> Let, let you on to your phrase, and they go, they're going to ride the bull. They're, they're going to ride the bull. Yeah, they're, 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 they want us to ride this bull. we got to do it. This is how musicals start. They're going to ride, ride the bull. Ride, ride the bull. <laughs> Okay, JD, you're sporty. You go first. I'm getting on the ball. Also, I failed last round. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Vic, Vic, steadies, Vic steadies himself, and he's here's what here's what Vic is doing. He's recording what he thinks is a video of himself for Instagram, when in fact the camera is facing the opposite direction and filming everything that's going on <laughs> at the mechanical bowl. All the while, the soundtrack is Vic talking while very drunk. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the bowl will be a series of three rounds with escalating difficulty classes, <laughs> and you all will make a straight up either strength or uh, acrobatics or athletics, whatever your best role is, to stay on. Who's going first? A- athletics. <laughs> yeah. I was up first. Yeah. Athletics. Yeah. So it'll be strength then, athletics for you. And then uh, strength athletics, mm-hmm. and then I'm losing dice. And you'll lose for the drinking. one dice for every tier of drinking you are. Okay. So if you're drunk, you lose three dice. Okay, <laughs> There's going to be a lot of chance to die on this table. Uh, since I'm from the south, do I get a proficiency I'm going to say this now, all right? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> drinks. It's not just a southern no, thing. The writing. Oh, two swear jars for me, please. Oh, gosh. Gosh. Um... If you crit fail at any point, you throw up. I'm just gonna say that right now. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. All Ab- ticking time bombs. Absolutely. So I will tell you the DC when you roll it. Go for it. J- JD still got six dice. Oh. <laughs> Good lord. Good lord. Doesn't he get some taken away from one? Being... Yeah. Don't we get like one a negative success? five one for success. five rounds of drinking? Okay. Yes. So. I took away three dice. Three. <laughs> Except for the ones that succeeded. Yeah, so that was an eight. Oh, wait, three wait, really? No, I took three dice off the top. His pool is nine. Oh, my God. Yes. I yeah. forgot. JD's a physical <laughs> character. So, 
you climb up on the mechanical <laughs> bowl and, and put your hands on the strap, and it starts to slowly wind up and start tipping backward and forward as it throws you, you know, back and then hurls you forward. Starts to rotate in, in, a, in a circle around, and the crowd starts to, to lean on the edge of the of the enclosure and watch you. But it's not at full speed, and it's pretty easy. You stay on. Pretty easy. Good, easy, it, easy start. In your, in your <laughs> inebriated state. Don't it, just like it go belt. It, <laughs> it, it definitely throws you a little, but you, you stay on. Uh, make me another roll, please. That is wow. <laughs> Two. You slam this thing, so it starts picking up speed. And JD is so confident, you actually you let it's one the, it's hand the you it's let one the hand go. All right. Woo! <laughs> Get my hands. <laughs> JD, JD. <laughs> I need a hat! <laughs> get oh, this goodness. man a hat! Someone get this man a hat! <laughs> Stat! I, oh my, my sister has one, let me go get her! <laughs> and uh, and by the end of this round, a, uh, a hat, it doesn't quite uh, land, <laughs> but they, they try and hand it to you, and, and it, it ends up kind of flopping around. But it someone is, does bring you a it hat. It is pink and covered in rhinestones. Yes. It is pink and covered in rhinestones. <laughs> Make me another roll, please. Three. Three. All right. So the the rocking picks up speed. Case. It starts to properly buck you backward and forward and violently jerk you in unexpected directions. But JD is a stud of a man. He stays on admirably, and he's having a great time. Do I have that hat now? Um, someone does come in and <laughs> hand you the hat. the hat. Yeah, they hand they manage to hand you the hat. So now you have you know one hand on, and you're you're having a good time waving your hat around. And uh, in the background, Sweet Home Alabama starts playing. <laughs> And the crowd's cheering for you. They're getting really into it as it starts to be an actual, really impressive display of, of physical strength. Roll me another one. Oh my I mean, even God, Wolf's getting into this. Even he's cheering him on. <laughs> Four. Oh my God. Lord. You're uh, never leaving this bowl before you home. You are now at the max <laughs> setting. Just, just four eights. You are now at the max setting of this mechanical bowl. It is throwing you with all the strength of an actual <laughs> animal. If you stay on any longer, you might actually get whiplash. It is throwing you so violently back and forth, but you stay on. Can I jump up on it and jump off? <laughs> you can. You could also try for another round. I'll stay on for another round. All right. We'll see. <laughs> We'll go again. Now it's a bull on steroids. That's the next round. A cyber bull. A cyber bull. Cyber. Two. <laughs> and in back down to two. In a moment of weakness, as you fall back and forth, you recall how much you've drunk, and you think, "Wow, I'm amazed. I'm not sick right now." <laughs> and then the nausea hits you. <laughs> <laughs> And out of nowhere, the bull wrenches sideways, and it throws you in a corkscrew off to the side, and you go crashing to the mat. And the, the crowd just goes, oh! Woo! <laughs> JD, that was so cool. You could have a career doing that. There are men that make so much money riding bulls and being stupid for a living. You wouldn't even know. You're talking about these people. <laughs> yeah, they're not people. They know. What did I miss? I heard cheering. <clears throat> I rode the ball. JD rode the ball. He was so He good. rode the ball. Rode the ball. Rode the ball. A loud bell dings. Rode the ball. And on the edge of the of the thing, a big um, LED display shows your time: two minutes and thirty-two seconds. It's a rather impressive ride. And the bartender comes up with a very tall hurricane glass full of slushy alcohol. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, Congratulations. God. You beat the, the, the current record. Does he get to put his initials on a board? Uh, Did he win a 68-ounce I mean, state? we could. Yeah, a... Let's do that. Let's do that. We'll put his this... time and his initials on a board. I feel like and we then... transported to Texas. <laughs> that I was a then... mistake. My bad. Nobody wants to be there. And yeah, and then you can you can record either everybody else's 
names on it. Well, it's like we're we in Texas, but we, we don't, don't have to be um, in Texas. We don't have a, a board, but um, uh, you can you can write on a dollar and stick it by the bathroom. We, we do that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Darla pulls out a dollar and write, uh, writes just ass. <laughs> and then sticks it. In the square <laughs> jar. <laughs> and just sticks it. Uh, no, here she writes, uh, sorry, excuse me. Preemptively. She goes, JD is a penis. <laughs> Sticks it to the wall. JD, what do you. I have no clue that that's happening. <laughs> I am currently. Red Hurricane? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not as, as the most to, sober one, Wolf through. is just kind of making sure JD doesn't like get alcohol poisoning at this point. JD, JD, <laughs> JD, since it was all my idea, I deserve some of your drink. Let me have some. Come on. <laughs> what you deserve, little lady, says the bartender, is your own turn. You said you were going to ride. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ride double. That's right. Ride double. Ride double. I got a little ride bit intimidated <laughs> because JD was so good. <laughs> but let's do it. What's your name? My name is Darla. Darla. All right, everyone, let's hear it for Darla. Hi. Darla. And, like, three guys are like, yeah, talk. go, Darla. All right. So... <laughs> With the reductions. <laughs> with, <laughs> with the reductions. <laughs> so, Something terrible about I to say. So, can't wait to see you do better. I want to add a willpower. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the first stage. <laughs> I'm going to add a willpower. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Go ahead. Yeah, bro, we're at the first stage of this bowl and you're popping with old power. You are. Well, I got three days to recover this, so we're good. <laughs> All right, let's do it. You're going to break your ass. Oh, we're good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. <laughs> so the bowl kicks on and it starts rocking, <laughs> tilting forward. Wait, and okay. Back. It's and almost harder to stay on because it's slow and jagged, but you do. And Darla. Is gonna t- try w- to do what she thinks looks sexy. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's doing it, so it's just like. Just take a nice like, out of there. <laughs> you know, like tossing her hair a little bit, like flirty smile, whatever. You know, the stuff that white drunk girls do. Yeah. I assume there's a lot of wooing going on. <laughs> there's I, an excessive She might know a little bit better than Matt, but. Jamie's but not finishing much. his hurricane. <laughs> wow, that was fast. Classy ladies don't woo. Yeah, we don't woo. JD basically just like, like tips that gonna, down. He's just gonna hit it. In oh, fact, JD, uh, write that down the condition brain freeze. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so roll me another, uh, another round, please, Darla. <laughs> Good. Put it another will filler. God. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta mark that off. Oh, okay. At this point, uh, at this point, just for the sake of comedy, uh, Vic is gonna wonder, what's Mason doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. an excellent question. Let's check in on him. Okay. <laughs> well, you're not bad looking. I don't get out much. You're gonna bug me anyway. So like, you know, it's just. Go to the record store and you can buy me some shit. Oh, where's my I ship it sign? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's looking for a sugar daddy too. <laughs> uh, are you soulmates? If it would smooth things over, let's. When do you close? She looks around, the shop's empty. Eh, right now, I guess. Well, um. <laughs> she walks out towards the door. Expects you to follow. Okay, well, if you don't need a hand getting your things. Well, have you had lunch? I have not eaten today. We're having hot dogs, she says, as she walks out the front door. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Cheap date. Good old American staple. <laughs> so you follow her out, sure, I presume, sure. and she turns around, and there's a one of those plastic this... spiral bracelets, the sort of stretchy plastic ones with, with keys on them, and she sort of stretches it out and locks the door. She looks human, yeah? Yeah, she looks totally human. I'm not, I'm not seeing a tail poke aside... out of the dress or anything? No, aside from being kind of tall and very, very thin. Is she taller than me? She's taller than you. Oh. She's very tall and very, very thin. But yeah. other than that, she seems very human. Okay. And uh, she locks the door and um, sort of turns around and... She kind of, there's a, an awkward moment where she stands with her arms perfectly straight beside her and her fingers kind of twitch and, and, and twiddle a little. And then she sort of steps up and very stiffly, like, it sticks her hand in your, like, oh, crook of your elbow. and Reach like, around. I'm not going to grab her hand, but I'll just... 
He, she she puts her hand in the, the dip of your elbow and right. like pulls you to her mm-hmm. and very awkwardly like walks down the steps of the <clears throat> porch and onto the street and leads you to a a hot dog cart down the road. Hello, sir. Uh, two. I'll three, have six. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Relish, uh, mustard, um, jalapenos on two of them. I'm looking Cheese for a park on... bench. <laughs> Cheese on the other two. Do you have milk? And the the guy in the in the cart sort of opens the refrigerated mm-hmm. section and digs around for a minute and looks up and goes, "Yeah, we got milk." Yeah, right, I'll have a milk, please. Having to dig for the milk is a bad sign. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have some milk too. All right, sir. That'll that'll come to um, fourteen dollars and ninety cents. Are these hot dogs, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> These hot dogs are the yes. finest of hot dogs. He has to make a D10 roll for those. <laughs> Am I, do, I have, do I have to take a, a, a friggin' integrity is, check to is, eat these hot dogs? Is the milk going to be a chance diet? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she, so she takes all her hot dogs, and there is a park bench. Actually, there's some plastic seats that the, the sure. owner has sure. put out oh. for you, and you sit pull, down. Pull them into the shade. I'd rather not sit in the sun. <laughs> she kind of kicks it until it's in the right angle that she wants, and... Uh, dusts it off with her hand and sits down with her mound of hot dogs and starts just shoving them in her face. <laughs> she is not a cute eater. Okay, well, I'm going to lose myself <laughs> in my thoughts for some time. Um, so, so like, what do you do for fun? Uh, Sorry, I've never been on one of these. I'm not really sure what you talk about. Anything. I really haven't either. I've been quite busy. Um, fun? Goodness, lately it's just been trying to find people to talk about this. You'd be surprised how few people are willing to talk about the other side. I don't know anything about it, and you live in it. I oh, try yeah. and research. People on this side, they don't shut up about the shit. Oh. Well, not to me. Goodness. Uh, everyone wants to tell you their story. Oh, my fate did this. Oh, mine was so terrible with her whips and her chains. So oh, this... you don't know. You think the whips are bad. Wait until you see the rose dimension where I was for 30 years. Oh, it's just so terrible so being surrounded by rose smell. They don't <sighs> kill you? It never they ends. They trap you? Yeah, and everyone thinks they had it the worst. Oh. They don't know shit. At least they got to be themselves the whole time. Well, you're free and enjoying hot dogs now. Damn right I am. She shoves like half a hot dog in one bite. Is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. Can I hand her her milk? In fact, you kind of, you almost get the sense that she can like unhinge her jaw. Mm. Like she's having a very easy time eating these. Okay. So anyway, she throws them back in about the amount of time it takes you to eat your hot dog and drink your soda. Yeah. Milk. 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 No, no. no. The also... milk is hers, and she puts it very pointedly oh. to the side. Oh, I couldn't also purchase milk? <laughs> you could. Yeah, I wanted to. Okay, then you, all right, then you'll have your own milk. Oh, good. Hot dogs and Incidentally, milk. please roll me a chance to die <laughs> on the milk. <laughs> Apropos of nothing, you please, know. Please, please. That's a, that's a 10. That's a 10. Oh, all right, you're fine. You're great. The freshest. You never, you never make Iron it. constitution. It's the freshest of rat it's, milk. It's, Come directly from the ratty, ratty source. Rat ditties. Hi, I hate this. (laughs) So she's sitting there in her chair, and she's sort of tipping it back, but it's a flimsy plastic chair, so it kind of warps and wiggles while she sits there and then slams it back into the ground. What do you do? I don't... I'm just recently, for the first time in my life, really hanging out with friends. We're working on a project, actually. We're doing this spooky ghost movie thing. Uh, oh, that's cool. I don't care. Sure. You? Hey, you want to go to the record store? Yeah, you said something about that. I, I wanted to pick up some CDs regardless. Okay, cool. There's a there's a really rad album I've been thinking about. No one ever buys it because it's this like Japanese R&B band from the 60s, but it's pretty cool. What does that even sound like? I, I'm out from walking. And like Japanese shit. I don't know what they're saying, but it sounds <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, is it? Can we walk there, or do we need? Oh to go? yeah, it's what it's, a charmer. it's a couple. It's a couple blocks away. I'll show you. <laughs> oh, and she again takes your arm just as awkwardly as before, and very stiffly leads you forward. Am I at all more comfortable with this? I mean, I suppose that's your choice. Sure, sure. <laughs> it's, it seems fine. She's fed. 
But she is. <laughs> She's not gonna eat me. I don't know. What is this Good beast? Lord. I will say it's it's Bad. about it's about a three block yeah. little stroll that you go on, and halfway through she looks at you kind of sideways with a, a curious look, and she very kind of slowly. While you're walking, she like leans her head to the side and rests it on yours because she's taller than it's you. So tall. <laughs> and and she kind of sits there and like studies your reaction or, or non-reaction. Yeah, and then, I'll I'll look up at her and I'm like, typically that's for a few uh, a few months in. I hear I hear. She goes, oh, I guess that's why it's weird. And then she straightens it back out and you continue walking. <laughs> It wasn't bad, though. And eventually you arrive at the record store, and it's a really hip kind of little hole-in-the-wall record sure. store with uh, alternative music playing yeah. and racks and racks of old vinyl and this lots is of posters. The, the Asian DJ does in his daytime to make money. <clears throat> uh, no, it's it's uh, it's owned by a, a sort of late 50s with long hair, you know, kind of rocker, roadie type guy. Yeah. Who has all kinds of great stories that he's telling to a young couple of hipsters at the at the, the cash sure. register, but she immediately kind of leaves your side yeah. and goes into her little section, and you spend a few minutes wandering around. Yeah, if I could, mm-hmm. I'd just like to pick up some fairly typical road trip type stuff, uh, maybe a, a, a Eagles album or something. And uh, sure, um, if yeah, if I can find that quickly, go go see what she's looking for. Yeah, that's pretty standard. You'll find like a greatest hits of the Eagles on on a sort of stack out. Sure. So she she kind of strolls back to you after a certain amount of time with a, a vinyl record in her hand, with a you know Japanese uh, kanji on the front, and she very unceremoniously hands it to you, and she goes, "Buy this." Sure. What? What does it look? What is this? I don't know, but it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really sure what they're saying, but I don't know. Maybe I'll figure it out one day. You got a player at the store? No. I guess I had to get one of those. I have, have one at my here? house, but not not at the store, no. Oh, okay. So anyway, you check out. Liven and... things up. Is there a little cassette player? Or a disc player, rather? Um, Yeah, he's got like an old sort of, like a Walkman on the counter for sure. sale. Just something that... It's could... like a book. It's like... So, something she could play at the store. Okay, cool. So uh, after that's done, she uh, she leans over the counter and she has a very quiet conversation with the guy. And uh, you kind of it's a little awkward. They have a relationship, so you kind of stay at the at the edge. And uh, after a minute, he sort of nods and, and smiles at her, and he hands her a small carton of white sidewalk chalk. Does he seem like he's acting strangely, or is it they're pretty comfortable in their own little dynamic? They're, he's very comfortable, but that okay. sounds like an unseen sense role. I'm sensing a white theme. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Much better this time. So what, you got like 13? Three. Three. Yeah. Um, I got one last time. The man she is talking to is a changeling. Oh. Or he has the, what a, same yeah same feeling. Yeah, he's just sort of a scraggly rocker dude, but he feels like she does. Okay. Which you surmise, since your father told her she was a changeling, means that that's what changelings feel like. Congratulations, you can now recognize changelings on sight. Ooh, man, I love changeling. You're like the blue mage in Final Fantasy. Wow. <laughs> the more you learn, the do, more you do, do. That's fine. I want to do that. <laughs> now recognize changelings. Okay, good. So after that, she walks back to you and sticks her, her hand in your elbow and walks you out of the store. Sure. And by now, it is getting rather late. You've, you know, eaten and mm-hmm. the sun's good, getting kind of low. And she walks you away from the city center and you walk for quite a while, for sure. a good 10 or 12 minutes. Into a park or outside the city? You or... go past a park and past all kinds of shops and restaurants and bars sure. and, and post offices. And she uh, walks you to a overpass which turns into a bridge that goes over the river and under the overpass she turns and it's a in the midwest anyway the overpasses are are constructed in such a way that there's a large sort of mound of earth and a sort of 45 degree concrete wall underneath the the actual bridge where the struts are and at the the sort of 
top end where that meets the bridge, there's a small little area where, you know, sort of vagrants tend to, to take shelter in bad weather. And so she faces that upward hill in that little sort of space underneath the overpass where there's, you know, gra- graffiti sprayed on the side and, you know, old plastic bottles and trash and newspapers. And she kind of looks sideways at you and she's like, all right, so I'm just going to say that whatever happens, you asked for this. Just we- a disclaimer. Okay. All right. Uh... And she kneels down onto the angled wall and takes out a piece of chalk. And she begins to draw. Can I kind of try and memorize this? Yeah, you certainly can. Um, Go ahead and make me an intelligence academics rule for, yeah, to memorize the, the pattern. No. So it's fair. It's a very complicated pattern. It's almost like a Celtic knot uh, design. The lines often make uh, swirls and loops that later on she returns to and completes them and, and interwines, intertwines them into a, a symbol you don't recognize. And It's beautiful. That's um, one way to look at it. And then she sort of stands up and her, her cotton skirt blows a little in the, the wind coming off the river. And she walks up and she takes your hand sure. in hers and um, puts one hand under yours and one hand on top. And she goes, well, I hope you have a very pleasant trip. Sure. And she pulls you suddenly and throws you into the concrete. But you do not hit concrete. You hit a green, gnarled, brambled bush that completely surrounds you in a dark and seemingly limitless hedge. And then I'm gonna roll. Back in the bar. (laughs) One. Back in the bar, Darla puts up a a very strong fight, but she is very drunk and very top heavy, and she topples right off. (laughs) Very top heavy. (laughs) Is the landing at least sexy? Well, you go forward, so you kind of land on your face. But with that in mind, the knowledge that you want to look sexy, I will allow you to roll yourself over and land in a sort of sexy arms over the head pose. I like I just fell here. Like <laughs> a, 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 a French girl's pose, if you will. Okay. And then I oh. Shouldn't you have to roll for that? And a failure is ass up in the air with your fucking shit hanging out. High low it for me. Uh, excuse me. I got two. Okay. I love it. Use your goshes, people. Yeah. (laughs) Watch your gosh darn language. (laughs) I need to roll that too. (laughs) So she she lands on her face with her ass in the air. And her shiny cut off jeans glistening in the stage lights. Doing her best to make it sexy. (laughs) (laughs) Wolf takes out his cell phone and he's just gonna click. (laughs) <laughs> All right, Darla, like a true friend. Darla's going to do her best to recover. <laughs> All right, uh, roll me, um, geez, oh, no. Don't I worry, I'm sure you can take one of these guys home if you want. Swear jar. Yeah, swear jar. Oh. You said one earlier. We need more, we need more coins. <laughs> We're know. not going to make it. Are we running out of coins? This is like two whole dollars in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh God, what would you roll for trying to look sexy? Uh, um, presents? Presence, presence, I think. Presence. 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 Expression. Uh, expression. Presence. Expression. I like that. Yeah. All right, let's yeah. do it. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Oh, well, just one. Um, well, you managed to um, stand up without looking, you know, super inappropriate. <laughs> uh, just a stand up hair flip and then just like, yeah! <laughs> and then, because you're on a squishy mat and you're probably wearing heels, you kind of stumble a little on the, on the, the walkout. I kind of imagine they're boots. She's yeah. going to a western bar. Like I, boots. I also imagine that plenty of the, you know, those guys in the bar are like, Yay! Yeah, she has a much louder cheer than she has. <laughs> Despite her lackluster performance, she was... It's You're strangely t- louder than mine. <laughs> <laughs> your uh, your timer was only uh, thirty seconds. Yeah, that's fine. Look, JD, I did like a fourth of what you did. Yep. Good job. JD, 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 don't look so good. 
Uh, my just the, 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 the cold thing. Uh, Are you sure you look real, <laughs> real drunk? <laughs> that might have them. No, it's not enough. Oh uh, yeah, it's definitely just a brain freeze. Then Vic walks over and just says, "Guys, guys, I don't need to make anyone panic, but I think I need to have my stomach pumped." <laughs> Oh, you're fine. It's just the kale not, it makes you feel that I'm way. Not, I'm not fine. I feel like I'm going to die. You won't feel like that you're, if you drink some more. You just need more tequila. I, you're I, not going to die, Vic. I'm not going to let you die. That's nice of you, but I, I'm almost entirely certain I'm going to die. Can I go home? Uh, <laughs> you go to I'll walk house. him home. I'll walk him home. Wait, no. We should. Uh, what time is it? Uh, it's probably about 8, 30, 9 o'clock by now. <laughs> we did start in the afternoon. It's really yeah. still even daylight. We're, we're blasted midday. It, it is, I, I went on record. So Wolf is judging daylight. everyone. He's judging everyone so hard. Like, oh, you guys are such weaklings. Well, well, he You'll never survive the winter. Of course he can. He already rode the bull today. <laughs> uh, hey. Hey. So uh, you all walk outside, and it is it is dusk. It is late in in summer. Even even at nine o'clock, there is still a twinge of light. Guys, 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 guys. Right, the point. J D, you're so good. But I was gonna say something else. We should go and get food. We should get food. There's probably <laughs> like burgers or some fries around here. I just really want a milkshake. Uh, did that place have food? It had a grill food, which is not really what I'm looking for. Take them to a big like, Vic bar. A very really big we, restaurant. Can, can we order pizza to Insist the bus? Insist on it. Well, having a, <laughs> I like that idea, but I do also know of a place in St. Louis that's great drunk food. Okay. We can go to the City Diner, which is this, like, retro 50s bar. Uh, yeah. I just How are we there. getting there? Is it That's true. Stumbling. We're by the river, Bumbling. and we need to go all the way down to, sh- like, <laughs> like to Tummy's <laughs> Rumbling. Yeah. Okay, okay, guys, guys, guys. I'm going to call Uber, and then... Oh, no. Here we Poor are. driver. I'm going to call an Uber, and <laughs> then gonna I'm going to ask like, him mm-hmm. where good food is, and he's going to drive us there. How does that sound? That sounds fine. All right, let's do it. I think this is a dumb idea. Shut up. You don't know how to have fun. And then she calls an Uber. Aries is going to be fighting over who gets to sit in the passenger seat. Everybody else is riding in the back cramped up. (laughs) So uh, you all hop into an Uber, drive further into the city to a very highly recommended taco bar, while Darla uh, completely goes nuts to party in the USA. (laughs) Party in the USA! (laughs) <laughs> and with that, we'll check in with Mason. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, oh, no. And on one end, you see a, a dark, uh, <clears throat> terrifying cavern, and, and you hear unknown oh, creatures oh, oh, oh. and shrieks and cries and strange noises and crunches and groans from all around you. And as you spin behind, you see the tiniest little light peeking through a gnarled bush. And you surmise that that is where you've come from. Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, uh, is anyone immediately around? No, you are alone. Okay. Well, just, you I... are you are the opposite of alone, but you cannot see anyone. Okay. And as you stand and take in your environment and try to make sense of what you're seeing, the light seems to get further away and seems to get dimmer and dimmer. Uh, I don't think I want to get away from the light. Can I try and keep up with it? Yes. Uh, make me a strength, or no, a dex athletics. Because the brambles are wrapping around your feet even as you stand there trying to ensnare you. One. Good enough. You move forward, but you don't get closer. Roll me another one, please. Okay. Uh, can I, is anything appearing? Anything following us? Or another one? So you manage to rip your feet from the the vines that are trying to trap you, and in front of you, a, a, a heavy limb from above seems to like groan and creak and then crash, and you have to make a, a jump, a leap to get over it. Okay. You keep pace, and, and now you feel like you're in a dream in which there's a destination far in the distance, and every step you take, it gets the same distance away. Uh, all right. Uh, you start I... to become afraid as you realize you may be trapped here soon. Okay, I would like to start running. Okay. Um... Same uh, You have willpower? Closer. Yeah. This would be a good time for willpower. Okay, more willpower. 
I'm not at all closer. Okay, that was two successes for willpower. All right. With two successes, you cover some distance. You get closer. You get within what feels to be about 10 feet of the doorway. True. And through the doorway, you see something very interesting. You see spinning in, a, in a, an arc through this white space. You see a small plastic jug of milk with a cow's face on the front spin and crash and collide with some of the foliage. And as you run closer and closer, uh, little creatures and, and little fairies with wings and with sharp teeth and claws crawl out of the ground itself and all sort of collapse in and tear each other apart trying to get to the milk. <laughs> Make me out of the roll, please. <laughs> I'm using another willpower. What the fuck? Uh, the hedge is gross. The hedge is gross and scary. But the gosh. Gosh and fairies. <laughs> gosh and fairies. Fairies are creepy. That's. Uh, Two successes. Oh. Two successes is the difficulty class. You reach the portal and you just barely get out. Oh, no. And as you, as you go, you hear the roaring and the chittering of those creatures you heard getting louder and louder. And as you step into the light, you look behind you just once more. And all you see in this dark green brambled bush is a sea, like a galaxy of beady eyes of different colors. All the light into which you're walking is reflecting mm -hmm. off of them in iridescent greens and yellows and reds and blues, and they all seem to drive into you and say, next time, next time, you'll be mine. And that's where we'll end our session for today. What? <laughs> How is the bar going? Ah, A fairy ah. almost made you its bush. It's bush. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. That was a good session. My butthole yeah. is up inside of my... It's not even out inside. <laughs> it's, it's puckered. <laughs> my, like, it's, it's up in there even yet. more. Yeah, I guess... Uh, is puckered a swear? Maybe. Butthole's not a swear. I don't think it's a swear. <laughs> unless <laughs> I unless, think, I unless you're butthole. a butthole. Butthole, I think, in general. No. Hey, you guys, you I'm, can let it ride. I keep oh, this money, own. so... Oh, you God. can say anus instead. Yeah, anus. You gotta say your anus. Be the, is <laughs> My anus is bleeding. Probably. <laughs> uh, a lot of thorns. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So oh. I'm going to cut. Yay. <laughs> Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell is created and produced by Buckle Nagel and Stephen Pope. The players are Garrett Schmigel as Vic, Deanna Venable as Darla, Michael Morris as J.D., Stephen Pope as James Wolfe, and John Tompkins as Mason, with Buckle Nagel running the game. Hunter the Vigil 2nd Edition is produced and published by Onyx Path Publishing. Find us online at Uncanny Show on Twitter and www.uncannyvalleyshow.com. Make sure you check out Wild Cards, Experience Pointers, and other Saving Throw Show productions on the Saving Throw Network. And hey, have a good night. <laughs>